Good afternoon, Colorado. I'm Ryan Seamy. It's 11 a.m. Colorado. Good morning. I'm Britt Lurie. When I was growing up as a kid, we didn't have iPads, Angry Birds, or internet porn. We had to rely solely on craftsmanship, creativity, integrity from true visionaries, the real toy makers and artists of our generation. I knew at the age of five exactly what my favorite toy was, this colorful beauty, weighing no more than a piece of Texas toast. Living in a single room trailer with eight siblings, my parents couldn't afford much, but I'm grateful they set aside a few extra bucks and picked up one of these for us eight to share. I'll confess, this next piece does connect with me in a very sentimental way. That's why I'm excited to announce Newsroom One's sex goddess and correspondent Elena Rose will be taking us for a look inside the Nerf factory and headquarters to show us exactly how these foamy fun balls are made. Elena? Thanks, Ryan. And I would like to just clarify and confirm that this is an interview with Nerf, the radio DJ personality located in Denver, Colorado, not the inanimate object and toy company located in Rhode Island. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm excellent. You? I'm well, thank you. So do tell us, how did you come up with the name Nerf? Yeah, you know, uh, in college people said my head was spongy like a Nerf ball, and so, oh. yeah, so I got the yeah. nickname. And... It is very fluffy. Mm -hmm. may, may, why, thank you. May I touch it? Uh, sure. sure. Oh. Ooh, it's so soft. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I, I uh, condition. Oh, what kind of products do you use? Uh, I, you know what, I don't really know. I, I would have to go uh, look at my gym bag to, to tell you. So I've noticed that your radio station plays an awful lot of dubstep in the morning and during rush hour. I really like dubstep. It's really hot. Cool. That's cool. Uh, glad you like dubstep. Uh, I, I listen to a little dubstep in my spare time a little bit. I, I wouldn't say the station plays uh, oh. any dubstep, really. Oh. Uh, maybe Have you ever done yoga? Uh, never really got into yoga. I know? love doing yoga. In fact, I like to do it naked so I can watch myself in the mirror. Uh, that's that's fascinating. Do you do that in a uh, studio? With I hear that DJs, radio DJs in particular, pack a lot of heat downstairs. Is that true? Uh, I couldn't confirm it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of DJs in the building, uh, and uh, that we do share a uh, uh, you know restroom. I I can't uh, can't Maybe really you attest. Maybe could do a lineup, and I could just check them all out. <laughs> that. Uh... Do you get laid quite often? Huh? <laughs> No, no, I'm married, so of course that's, oh, you know. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. 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 Have you ever had a threesome? Uh, back in the day, what exactly is this interview about? Uh, it's, you. Uh, it, great. <laughs> Did you want to uh, hear anything about the station or? Uh... No, I think I'm good. Oh. Thank you so much for your time. Elena Rose with Newsroom One reporting from 93.3. have a very serious story developing, Colorado. Listen up. This will potentially affect your life and the safety of every red, white, and blue citizen. An attack on United States soil is now imminent and merely moments away, as the FAA continues to report countless legions of black helicopters crossing U.S. airspace. The Pentagon has issued a statement informing all Americans through radar tracking analysis that the first major city targeted will be... If you have all the information we've just provided, you and your families will remain safe during this nationwide terrorist attack. Yeah, uh, you know, just dispose of the urine. Hey kids, I'm STD Man, and I'm here with a great tip to keep you safe. As you are all aware, people do it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. In the car, all the time. If a cop sees you, you will get a ticket. Believe me, I love playing with mine too, but there are times when it's just not groovy. If it can't wait until you get home, pull over to the side of the road and take care of your business there. My best advice, keep it in your pants while you're driving. A safe teen driver is a good teen driver. For more information and safety tips, visit www.stdsarecool.org. Last night, a Costco in Littleton closed for the night. And when morning came, employees discovered it was gone. 
The entire 150,000 square foot building literally just disappeared. Not a single trace of remains nor the building structure can be found. Investigators are baffled by the apparent vanishing of an entire building and are looking into the disappearance now. Newsroom One correspondent Alex Story is live at the scene. Alec? Back to you. Reporting from Newsroom One studio, that's news to you. I'm Ryan Simi. And I'm Britt Lurie.